Hey everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NETCOR and today I am going to show you uh, a simple demonstration of donate a blood save life. I mean to say that a uh, blood bank system and in this video tutorial just uh, I want to talk about uh, this and you know uh, I have started a membership program. So just before going to much more detail of blood bank, I want to share my membership details. In my membership program, I will give you complete video tutorial on .NET Core. Uh, I mean to say that beginning to advanced video tutorial on .NET Core. As well as uh, I will provide you a complete video tutorial on Dapper, REST API, Angular, Entity Framework Core, MS Test Unit, .NET Laser, and it's not only a uh, video tutorial, it's uh, actually project-based video tutorial I will give you. I will give you complete source code uh, which is uh, included and during the creation of this uh, projects. And so I will provide you lots of video tutorial, you know, uh, 200 hours actually, uh, actually uh, based video tutorial I will give you in just 800 rupees. Only one time fees that is 800 rupees for Indian users and dollar fifteen for other country user like US, UK and Australia and other countries who can pay from the PayPal accounts. So if you want to join this membership, just go uh, video description box and uh, where you can find a Google form link and just fill the form and get your membership. And this is the form uh, full stack development course I will provide you. So just fill this form, your name, your email ID, your contact number, transaction reference ID or order ID or PayPal ID. If you belong from India, just pay using UPI ID and here is my UPI QR code. Pay just 800 rupees. If you belong from other country, just pay using PayPal ID and this is my PayPal ID, narinkumar851 at gmail.com. Okay, so you can also use this uh, QR code. Uh, the link actually uh, available in your description video description box so if you want to get this membership just fill this form okay so the first part is to uh, register your donor information or you can say uh, it's a blood group information and required units by the hospital or any other clinic so phone number and the dates is required and the next one is to registration of donor donor registration who want to donate your blood so username password confirm password email uh, personal information like the donor name father and husband name gender age address chip and district area phone and the blood group are also mentioned and uh, also a donor can uh, enter into their account by the username and the password so must to add username and the password in the screen and you know that's a to today's requirement also visible on that screen that is state posted by age address phone number blood group and requirements you know a uh, donor can change their profile also like email address zip quantity area phone number last donate date and your status and availability change a password about uh, blood search for the donor we have an options to search a donor with the help of the uh, blood group as well as the district so that a donor can search in their area okay and the profile will be visible in the form of the table you know it's a listed uh, table and you know that a blood bank detail also visible on the screen where we have a blood bank details uh, that is the name uh, address zip email phone and the blood groups are listed and their units are also visible in the screen okay so anybody can see uh, this units and uh, he uh, and he want uh, units so contact to this um, phone number and email ids okay so uh, that is the admin area where we can search and mail to the uh, donor as well okay so mail sent successfully and blood bank registration also uh, registered so blood bank name address chip username password confirm email phone number who want uh, to blood actually so anybody actually uh, search uh, with the help of the bank name like blood blank name etc so these are the registration fields 
and blood uh, bank uh, these are details like a birla bank srobi banks and rakesh bank like that if you want to delete these banks you can uh, just use the delete options here and here we have a, a hospital registration also information uh, where the blood actually uh, blood ba uh, bank exist okay so these are the actually collective information uh, from the uh, third party vendors so just i will show you and now let's get started to start the blood bank details with the clean architecture first of all uh, i choose uh, asp.net mvc projects so select asp.net model view controller like that asp.net mvc and Give it the name is blood uh, bank dot ui projects so blood bank dot ui or you can say that it's a infrastructure project so, sorry a presentation project so you can set a uh, blood bank dot dot presentation okay so here we go to the next part and that is dot net 8 equals 0 just select this one okay now uh, i want to divide the project in the layers so just right click on the solution explorer add a new project that is a new project and here we go for the class library project the first one is to add blood blood bank dot domain okay blood bank dot domain And that is the blood bank dot domain information. So just remove the part from here. Okay. And the next one is to add new project. And here we go for the class library project. And here we go for blood bank dot application blood bank dot application layer okay and the last one is infrastructure so just add a new project that is the class library project again just select this and here we go for the blood bank dot infrastructure okay okay so that is the part here and now just I want to add, uh, you know, here we have a application layer. So just I want to add a use cases here. Okay. And in the uh, domain layer, uh, in the domain layer, just add a entities and their uh, aggregators and the evaluated services. Okay. So see you in the next video uh, for more details.